All right, we're back everybody. KC here. And we got the 2024 <clears throat> KLX 300 behind me. First major mod was trying to tidy up the big ass uh, mullet type tail section that is on all these bikes. So <clears throat> I'm not going to go in a big, this is not a big how-to video. I'm just gonna kind of show you what I did here and what I used. First off, I unbolted this big conglomeration here. This will come off first. You get this off, you have to take your, of course your, uh, the rear fender, you have seat off, then rear fender, then you can get two bolts on top right here, you loosen those up, and then there will be four Phillips head screws here which will hold it on to this piece. Take those four Phillips out and that piece will come off. This piece I cut off. This is the inner fender piece which would go right there. And for my setup I had to, well you got to get rid of it anyhow if you're doing any type of tail type, but you have to cut that off because this, this piece bolts right here and it goes, it holds your lighting system here, protects all this and goes up to here at your inner fender. So once that was done, I'm using an, a Cherby's X LED CE tail light. Okay, that is this section comes with the light and of course this place to hold your don't don't mind this hole here that does not come on these I drilled that by accident so I put two bolts up through the fender and as you can see with my turn signal set up the signals hit so I have spacers up in here you can definitely if you're using a different type of turn signal or, or some other turn signals on the fender, you can put this right up against the green fender and fold it up and it will fit nice and tight. But for me, it just wasn't going to work out that way with these turn signals and I didn't want to put them, you know, you can put them up on the fender up here or, you know, mount some stock turn signals somewhere. So I have that, a chair be set up. These are Tusk flush mount LED turn signals. I just drilled and bolted these to this. This has the tail, I mean, it has the uh, license plate lamp underneath, so you do not need a separate one. That's why I drilled this. <clears throat> I drilled this one was gonna put a separate uh, license plate light in, then I had to look up and see that it had the license plate light underneath there. So, that being said, uh, my pigtails, you can see everything is connected. What I do is I cut the, I cut the factory plugs off with about this much wire, four inches or so. I splice them all into the new. You can see I cut them off here, but if I would ever want to put them back on, there's plenty of wire to put them back on, and that is like new. Then, of course, the fender. Uh, it has these nipples that pop in to these rubber grommets. So I'll just pull those wires up through the rest of the way. I will stick these down in the nipples like that that's not pushed in the whole way but you can see you're gonna have that inner fender piece sticks down here a little bit and I trimmed it a little bit I may cut that uh, the rest of the way off just so I don't see it but you're gonna have this subframe tomb here showing see from the factory that's covered with your black plastic piece that comes up over and kind of hides that so if I don't like it, I'll probably put a piece of black vinyl on there just to kind of hide it a little bit. But once you put that on, and of course you'll put your bolt, bolts in your fender again, and minus the wire sticking down that I did not tighten up yet, that is what it will look like from the side right there. Uh, pricing, I you can't quote me on this. I'll maybe put it down below in the... Uh, comment section down below here I believe those turn signals are $30 and I believe this uh, brake light setup the chair piece is also right around $30 I believe but I will make a note of that for sure 
and let you know there but it's it's not that it's hard to do I probably have an hour in it because I was trying to figure everything out one thing I want to mention too uh, on this a chair piece piece I did let me pull this off here I had to cut you can see it's cut right here and here uh, I'm gonna try to find the piece I cut off if I can right here I had to cut this off because it would have interfered this section here it would have interfered with the nipples right here so even if you use different turn signals and mount this you want this flush up here you will have to cut that piece off to get it up there so there you go we're going to get that finished up mounted on and i will show you it once everything the seats back on and everything else here in a few okay there we go there's a good look at the finished product and your stock bike would have that black covering over this which was the tailpiece coming down. I cut that off right there. So if you don't like this silver, you can definitely just black it out with some paint or I may stick some vinyl on it if I don't like it, but I don't mind it really. There's the <clears throat> setup. Like I said, I have this gap right here. You can do away with that if you're not gonna put the turn signals right here, this style. That will go right up against the fender and mount up real nice. And there's the back view and of course from this side I also took my tool kit off and I have some just some plugs from the hardware store popped in there if you're running some kind of rear rack you probably have to take these two out to put your rear rack on so that's that project there in the back as you can see, I have some other things on here. I've been putting stuff on, removing stuff. So remember to like, subscribe, get on your cowie, and get outside. Thanks for watching.